the green chili cheeseburger. But what if you just take standard green chilies and go from here to here? Watch what we do, you guys stay tuned. All right, first we're gonna do the peppers. Then I'm gonna show you how we did the peppers, all right? So this is the idea. The green chili cheeseburger to me is one of the most overlooked cheeseburgers there are. Being from East Tennessee, we don't have the luxury of having the great green chilies that most people are accustomed to. I'd be on the verge of saying there's probably more green chili dessert recipes in the West, especially in the New Mexico area, than there are actual green chili items on a menu in East Tennessee. You see what I'm saying? It's all about culture and where you are at the time. But this is what we have. And nobody <laughs> just wants to open a can of green chilies and say, that's my green chili cheeseburger. I don't even like doing it. So what do we do? Smoked poblanos, smoked jalapenos. All right, so this is how we do the peppers. I got my charcoal grill growing. Um, I got the, uh, the coals on one side. No coals on this side. You guys know how I love my two zone system, my indirect heat. Just a little bit of avocado oil, no salt, no pepper. The point is you're just looking to blister and smoke these peppers. Okay, just right on the grill. All right, so when your peppers develop that char on them, we're just gonna get this all the way around, all 360 degrees. All right, so as you can see, all we're doing is just rotating our, rotating our uh, poblanos or our jalapenos just over and over and over. And it's developed that char that we want. Now, this is what I like to do. This is a little bit, a little bit different than most people. Move my peppers off the heat. Today I'm using Sabasco. It's only because that's what I have. My mother-in-law got them for me. It has nothing to do with the recipe. I've done it many times with um, uh, mesquite or apple, whatever you got, but I love that smoke flavor, okay? So just a couple of chips down. I'll put them right on my grate, it won't matter. I mean, you close now, the yep. vents. To me, I'm just closing everything. I'm gonna let it sit for about 10 minutes. And then after that, we're gonna pull the peppers off, let them rest and take that skin off. You're just looking to really absorb that smoke. So just take them off the heat. And then immediately while they're super hot, Aluminum foil, plaster crap, whatever you got. It's going to trap that steam in, and this is what really helps that skin separate from the flesh. And we're going to give this about 10 or 15 minutes. We're just going to take all the skins off. I'll show you real quick. And then we're going to mix them with our green chilies to up the flavor. That's what I'm talking about. You guys always ask for recipes that combine the grill and the flat top. Well, proteins, it's kind of hard, but all of a sudden, if you introduce that max flavor with your vegetables and put that on a like a smash burger layer of cheese and green chilies, oh, son. All right, so once you've let them steam, this process is actually pretty easy. Um, the idea is you're just looking to uh, peel the skin off of them. And so these have been smoked, charred, and then I'm just gonna dice these up. Show you guys one of them, and then we'll show you the jalapeno. I just like to lay mine open, and then come back in here and de-seed. Mmm, it already smells good. Yep, it's that addition of the smoke, just like this, so. Now that we got all of our peppers done, we're just gonna mix them around. See that right there? That is tons of flavor. Now I would suggest this. If you like it hot, go ahead and taste. If you like it mild, go ahead and taste. The last thing you wanna do is pile your burger up with all these peppers, bite into it, start choking. Now, you might say, oh, it's only Anaheim, it's only jalapeno, it's only green chilies. Trust me, people know, depending on what chili you get and what you add to it, this thing can set you on fire. So I'm just gonna taste a little bit. See if we can get that smoke flavor. Mm. It's 
spicy. Got a little back end heat right there. Just from the one little jalapeno. I like it. I love this. It just takes a can of green chilies and just goes up here. And that's basically the whole idea of what we try to do. All right. Set the chilies aside. For the haters out there that say, oh, he didn't wash his hands. Oh, the body. We just cut it out. Nobody wants to see me wash my hands. You should wear gloves. These are for you right here. Everybody. So today, since the chilies are the star of the show, nothing special about the burger. Okay, I've got 75, 75, 25. I'm going to do like a hybrid of a smash. I am going to smash them down, but I'm not necessarily looking for that lace. I'm looking more for that Maillard crust. Is that the right terminology? I think it is. Bob? Bob? Call me on my personal line, brother. <laughs> All right. So our flat top smoking, we got it up to about 450. I'm going a little bit higher today. Give each space or give your burger enough space all over the flat top. Okay. Don't crowd them together. All right. Somebody told me this trick when we try it out for the first time today. There's a hundred different ways to smash your burgers. People use burger presses. People use wax or parchment paper. Uh, people use spatulas or special spatulas for it. Somebody said, hey, when you put your balls on, let them cook for a couple minutes, just basically 60 seconds, then flip them. The ball will create the crust and that's your smash point. Since the beef is already cooked, it won't stick to a spatula. That's what I was told we're gonna try it out. All right, here we go. Yeah. Just to show you guys that you guys are new to the channel or haven't seen any of my burger videos or the griddle video, the smash burgers, it's a rocking motion, okay? You press down and then you ease out the edges, okay? So straight down. Now I got my burger smashed, this is when I'm gonna salt and pepper them. I'm only doing one side since they're so thin. All right, just put the buns on there a little bit. Let it absorb some of that beef fat and toast them up. Ooh, that's perfect. These burgers are served with like a white American cheese. But I'm gonna up the flavor again. I love pepper jack cheese. So this is a perfect way to include whatever you guys like. And I guess that's probably my biggest pet peeve about cooking. If you see something I do and you don't think it should go, don't put it. Matter of fact, do whatever you wanna do. That's the whole thing about cooking. As long as you make it your own, who cares? All right, we got our toasted buns. I like to toast them because it crunches them up and I just think it dries it out a little bit. So when you put all these juicy burgers on there. Mm. Yeah, if you're not toasting your buns, you're missing out. All right, we're gonna do a double layer. Man, those look good. All right, so this is the deal. You guys can dress your burger any way you like it from here on out. Tomatoes, lettuce, pickles, onions, mustard, ketchup, I don't care what you use. Today, I'm using what I like to use. I like a little mayonnaise on my burger. I'm gonna put a little mayonnaise down. Like a little chopped onion, I'm gonna put that down. Like a little mustard. Oh, this can be good. Oddly enough, when we make this, for some reason, I don't add a tomato product. I feel like it takes away from the chilies. The mustard and the vinegar seems like they work out really well. We 
big old fat pickles. Maybe two of them. Feeling froggy today. And the star of the show. These beautiful green chilies, poblano peppers, and jalapenos mixed. My wife likes hers plain, and there you go. Easy as can be. Just little uh, manipulation from the grill, and the flavor is way up here. I can already tell you're excited about this one. Because the words I used? <laughs> Those were big words for you. Oh my God. Look at the crunch. If the Oklahoma onion burger is like high on your list, this is right up there with it. I think it should be eaten more often. You can adjust the heat with the peppers. Speechless. <sighs> Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button, pound the notification button, share it with your friends. I'm chowing down. Peace. You're going to wake up the neighborhood.